today's activity is going to be painting. And get to know me. More light pink. I'm going to paint these. Lanterns. One of my favorite hobbies is painting. I'll start with one, then I'll go with the other one. But I've noticed that if you prime it by painting it white and then adding your color on top will make your color brighter. Or just focus on the gun. Number one, who inspires you? Mm. That's a good one. So clear. So you want it. What should I do next? So what? There we go. I'll get this red and pink. Mm, it looks white. Yes, pink. Who inspires me? I think my grandma and my mom inspires me because they're both very strong. They were very strong women. What life gave them as a, a life challenge. They, they were pretty strong when adversity came in their lives. They were very strong with what they had to go through. And they motivate me to keep going with what I have. We really don't know, but I keep pushing because they were very strong women and they inspire me to keep going. Even they're not here with me physically, I know they're with me in spirit. That they Still give me the strength to keep going, even if life isn't easy. Pants. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll do the second coat on that one. And I'll do this one. My grandma and my mom had a 
diabetes, and I think my grandma had two, and my mom had the number one. I always remember her that she would always inject herself. And my mom had a lot of complications of health. She always was strong and never gave up. Always had faith in God. And then my grandma as well. My grandma had to go through dialysis. But she still had faith in God. And believed in God. And that's where my faith base comes from. Because... I believe one day I will see them again. Number two, what was the best concert you ever attended? I used to go to this church it's called in Arizona Epicentro Phoenix and if you're Christian Spanish believer um, Jesus Adrian Romero was a pastor there. He's a singer. Now his brother is the one that is the pastor there. But once I remembered that he surprised us with the congregation with a concert and it was really nice. What's your favorite place in the world? Um, I would say here. My home is in Las Vegas, Nevada, where I was born and raised. This is my second room. Okay, I want to cover the top. this other one also. I've lived in Arizona and here Las Vegas and I still think Las Vegas is my home. If Number four, if you could be an animal, which would it be? I think I would be a cheetah. Because they're strong, they're independent. They're ready for a battle. But to protect their themselves and their family. What, number five, what was the last book you read? <sighs> the last book. I think I have it right here. This is the last book I'm reading. I mean, this is the current book I'm reading. God's will help you.
but the one I finished, I returned it to the light. I just don't remember. After what happened to me, my mind gets foggy. Um, what, six, what are you passionate about? Well, I was passionate about teaching. I had a job at a preschool, but I got COVID during it and I got fired. And then I was having trouble finding a job. I've worked um, with disability, people with disability as a direct support and as a supervisor. Uh, that was one of my passions to advocate for them. And I still would and will advocate for individuals with disabilities because I myself had have a disability. It wasn't as bad as people I would care for, but that was one of my passions to advocate for um, individuals and to advocate for immigration because both of my parents and my grandparents are from Mexico and I advocate for immigrants as well. Number seven, what's your favorite movie? I think my favorite movie as a kid was Lion King. And as a teenager was Death Race. I don't know, the thrillers are one of my favorite kind of movies. But the recent movie I've seen this year, or the recent movie I've seen, is Avatar. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, eight. What's the craziest thing you've done? Craziest thing I've I don't know. I haven't done anything crazy. This is the third one. What's number nine? What are you currently watching on Netflix? Um. I'm always watching cartoons or whatever it's new. Don't really watch that much TV, but if I do, it's something that someone recommends or whatever's on the top 10. Number 10, what's the coolest thing you're working on right now? Um, right now, I'm not working on nothing because my, my doctors have me at home. They don't want me to work because of the medication I'm taking currently. I wish I, I could work because I've been independent since my parents passed I've taken care of myself since I lost my parents in my 20s I was like a workaholic I would say 
I'll just work, work, work. It helped me mentally and physically. But right now I'm not working on anything except making videos. And painting, doing hobbies. Because it gets boring after a while, not being able to do anything. Can I feel like incompetent in some kind of way? But I know this is just temporarily that I just had to focus on getting better. Number 11, who would you like to swap bases with a day? Um, I wouldn't like to swap with anybody for a day. Who would you swap with a day? I don't have no clue. Who would I swap with? Number 12, what's the best meal you ever had? My favorite meal I ever had is Mexican food. It's my favorite food. But Meal, I would say. I love me some good tacos. Or a good pizza. Um, number 13. If you could visit anywhere in the world you ever, you never been to, where would you go? I think I would go to Italy because I would like to try their pizza and their pasta. 14. What are some of your pet peeves? Too many to count. Just kidding. Pet peeves. I don't know. What would it be? What are your pet peeves? I'd have to think about that. Number 15. What's your, ta your secret talent that no one knows about? I don't have a secret talent. I would say that I like painting. I'm not a singer. What is your secret talent? Let me know. What's your secret Number 16, what four individuals live you like to eat the most? This is the word is question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Who would I eat with? I would eat with my family. 
Cody or Trance. I don't know. Those are the ones I would say. If you were a crayon, what color would, would you be? I think I would choose pink or this mint green color. I think those are my favorite colors. But this year, I've been going for a lot of yellows also. So one of those three colors I would be. What's most helpful way for you to get back? Get feedback. Mm. A letter by whom? I have no clue. By letter, by message, by telling me. Number 19, what's your favorite family tradition? Um, my family traditions are mostly like, I would say, now let's start painting the ones that are drawn. Let me use this pink one. I think my family would like or how would I say? I think most of my family traditions would be like Christmas like get togethers make the malas with my mom and my grandma And like for Easter, we would have our Easter Sunday, but they would still do like the Catholics do, like no eat, uh, like red meat on Fridays. My parents grew up as Catholics. I grew up as a Christian. But they still eat fish, shrimps, like seafood on Fridays, or um, chiles, chiles rellenos. One of my family's um, traditions as a kid was on was I think it was Sundays. We would get together at one of my family's house. I think that's the one thing I miss the most. As a kid, I mean, was a grown up. That every week we would spend time with our family. We would go, we would make, somebody would make dinner. It was in our house or their house. And we would play Loteria. Or whatever, watch movie or whatever was 
was real dirty that day. I messed up the most of like family bonding that we used to do as kids. We would get together after church. I think that's considered a tradition. Who is your favorite least superhero? Um, I don't really have a least favorite. I like watching most of the like, superhero kind of movies. But I think when it's a woman, it's bad. Badass, like, so cool that women can be superheroes. It kind of, like, encourages women or little girls that they could be a hero someday or like be somebody you know it's a different shade of pink than the other one I think I've done a lot of talking than painting I'm already in twenty. But I guess life changes and everybody has their own time and we just move on. But still inspiring. One of my favorite hobbies is painting and forgot to paint the top. I kind of want to put succulents in the once I have a chance to. Put some dirt. That one's pink. That one's like a lime green. This one's like a teal. What's one of your favorite music right now? Or comment down below. What movie are you looking forward to watching in theaters soon or now? I know there's a lot of movies coming out. Or what's your favorite book? What's your favorite hobby? I 
have one more to paint. I'm gonna paint this one now. Doesn't wanna come out. One of my favorite flowers is sunflowers. What's your favorite flower? You don't mind me asking you. I like sunflowers, roses, tulips, but sunflowers like back there are the one of my most favorite. Especially when you go to a field and you see them in person, that's the best thing ever. To pick them out yourself. There's this place, Orchids, real, I forget what's the name. I know it's orchids. And you could go pick up sunflowers. Right now they are available to pick up. I just wish I could go, but I would have to take my cane with me. Because they told me I have to use a cane if I walk on my own. Cause of the dizziness I get. I haven't done much things outside and staying indoor, reading a book. I don't blend the eye. Fingers are a mess, but I'll wash them out. So we have a teal, we have a pink, like a Barbie pink, a lighter pink, a yellow, bright yellow, green, lime green color, and then we have a yellow. And we're done painting. I hope you have a great day or a great night. See you on my next vlog. Bye. Ben un buen día. Ben un buen día.